Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. I uh, may have found a potential issue, problem, um, if however you want to call it, or maybe a flaw, maybe a better, be a better way to say a flaw. This amplifier, the Redivus RT91 amplifier, is not a pass-through device. And what I mean by that is, if you turn off the power and try to use it you know, have the, the, the output go through the amp, it will not do that. You have to physically unhook this amplifier. You're going to have to unhook your cables and then hook your cables up to whatever, you know, whether it's a, it's a uh, antenna or whatever the case may be. But you got to physically unhook this amp. You're probably saying, well, what's the problem with that? Well, there's a few problems with that. One, let's say you have this mounted in your car and you have a mobile radio hooked up to it. And you just want to turn this off because, uh, you know, uh, uh, you got a buddy two blocks away and you don't need the amp. Well, you turn this off, no signal can go through. And I'm going to show you this in a minute here. That's one problem. The other problem is let's say you have this at a repeater location. Okay? You have this amplifier being used with your repeater. And you have a smart outlet. And what a smart outlet is, is this thing connects to a uh, Wi-Fi and, and you can remotely kill the power. So let's say you have your power supply plugged into this so that you can turn off this amplifier if it malfunctions. Well, great, you, you kill the power to the amplifier, but now your repeater ain't going to work because the signal cannot go through. So that's, that's kind of a design flaw, bug, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to show you what I mean here. I have... The Redivis repeater hooked up. There is my receive radio. Here's my transmit radio. You can hear the squelch break. Hopefully, I'll key this up. So you hear the squelch break, so you know the repeater is working. And I have with the amp with the amp on. I have 20 watts coming out. Okay, that's with the amp on. Now. If I turn the amp off, I key up the repeater. You can still hear the repeaters on. Let me turn that volume up a little louder. Hope you can hear that. Now, if I key this up, you can see that it's transmitting since it's so close. But there is no wattage coming out whatsoever. Nothing. That's what I'm talking about. It's not a pass-through device. So if I, I would have to, in, in this particular setup, I would have to unhook my antenna and hook it up to the repeater to have my repeater work. Because right now the repeater is dead in the water. It is not transmitting because the signal cannot go through the amplifier when it's off. And that's the same way. Let's turn it on. And that's the same way if you kill the power. It's going to represent the same thing, but I'm going to show you that. Now we got it back on. You can see the watt meter over there going. See? Okay. So let's pretend I have this hooked up. The power supply is hooked up to this outlet, and I kill power remotely. And that's just like pulling the plug. Okay. Amp is off. Key up the repeater. Repeater still working, but no output. So that's a problem. So keep that in mind if you're going to use this amplifier as as a repeater. And if it's at a remote location, you're going to have to go out there and literally unhook this and hook up what you know your antenna directly to your repeater. Um, in this case, um, if I was, you know, using, I would unhook. I would leave the duplexer obviously hooked up and just re reconfig this because I would still need need the duplexer because I, I'd only have one antenna, so I would still need the duplexer. But I'd have to completely unhook this re um, amplifier to hook up the repeater to get my repeater to transmit. So that's, you know, 
Just letting you guys know that. And I did, and I am looking at the owner's manual, and I don't see anything list saying about that. I'll post a link. Maybe I'm missing it. You know, I, I am old and I can't see, but I'll post a link to the owner's manual. Maybe I'm missing it somewhere, but I'm double-checking that. But uh, that's kind of a design bug flaw, I guess, for lack of a better word. So hopefully this will bring, let you know about this so you know ahead of time. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.